Okay, this next item, I'm going to use a doily, a piece of fabric, which I bought in John Lewis, um, some clips and one continuous light. So this is the light over here. Um, this is a Lupo HMI light. In fact, while I'm over here, let me just show you the, uh, the lens and show you how it works. We've got, uh, the lens is a series of concentric rings and it allows me to focus the light up into a spot, okay? And when the light is spotted, it's quite soft. And when the light is in full flood, like this, it's quite hard. Now, what I mean by hard and soft is if I put my hand in front of here, you can see the shadow of my hand on the wall. It's quite a hard, distinct shadow. And if I go in quite tight and spot the light up, it becomes a soft shadow. Okay, now that is because when the light lens is spotted up, What's happening is you're using the whole of the lens as a light source to create that pool of light. And that gives a, because it's a larger light source, it gives a softer look. And when the lens is full flood, lighting the whole wall, it's actually just a point light source coming through the middle of the optic, middle of the lens. So it's a much smaller light source giving you much clear, more clearly defined shadows. Now we can use that characteristic through my piece of fabric. So we can use that like this to create a pattern on that back wall. So I'm just going to clip the fabric up like this. You see how it is? We've got this pattern here. So I shall clip the fabric on. There. And there. A bit interesting light. It's, um, this light is a, a, a Lupo 800. It's, uh, it's equivalent of an 800 watt tungsten or continuous light, but actually it only uses 150 watts of power. Now that's quite interesting because it doesn't get hot. You know, it's a little bit warm, but it's not hot to touch, not, not hotter than a normal household radiator, for instance. Um, an 800 watt tungsten light, if I put my hand on the top, when I took the hand off, some of my skin would still be left on the light, which isn't great. So this is actually a really, really good light. It's also a very thin cable. You can run it off a battery with an inverter. So it's actually a really useful light. So anyway, I'll, pan, I'll bring the light up because I want to light Chloe from above and I want her to be over here. But I've got two principal points of light here, this one here and this one here. And I'm going to tip this light down so that becomes Chloe's face that lives in there. Um, and let's have a little look. So I'm just going to tip this light down here. With continuous light, you can see what you've got all the time. There's no guessing, you know, I can see exactly how this is going to render on the camera. When I'm using flash, you can't get that clearly defined shadow like this easily. You have to use a certain type of device, maybe a, a Fresnel Spot fluter, which is quite an expensive bit of kit. Um, and again, you still don't quite get that clarity of pattern. It's all ready to go, and what you see is what you get. Okay, Chloe, yeah. come and bring my camera. Of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cute camera and a cute shoot. Come on over. So your space is just here. Okay. Little, little chinky. Okay, let's tip that down a bit. Oh, go for you find your eyes. Excellent. Okay, I've got here a little Fuji camera. Um, it's X100, digital. Perfectly good camera to use for all this sort of thing. But I think especially when you're working in like this, because it's just got that... It's got a nice feel to the lens, really, really simple, simple pictures. Okay, that's it, love that. Beautiful. Take a little look, this is the, the first frame. Um, I'm working on manual settings, 800 ISO, 125th F4. It's just got such clarity and texture, look at that, superb, beautiful. Right, okay, let's shoot a few of these. Okay, just a bit of a stance like this. Yeah, yeah, perfect, beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, head up, shoulders back. Yeah, loving that. So I'm changing my way I shoot, that's nice. There, there, beautiful. I'm just using the, the composition, I'm composing my scene in two dimensions. Now, a lot of people say they prefer to use viewfinders. You can use a viewfinder if you want. But sometimes I quite like having that separation. It helps the composition, I think. Love these shots. Have a little bit of that light too. Okay. Just throw your head up and back and close those eyes. There. Gorgeous, 
gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. It's coming back to here. Yeah, take a look at this. Okay, now that's slightly hot there. I think I'm gonna just drop the exposure down a little bit. Okay, let's see how we get on from here. Let's drop this to there. I'm just suggesting that one is just a little bit over. I don't know quite how I can be. Yeah. Yeah. Go with that. It's under there. Okay. You want to get your leg up. Just, I missed a frame. I missed a frame because I wasn't as quick as you are. And just need that look. It's nice. Gorgeous. 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 So come to here. Just divide one more. It's got to keep my shadow out of the shot. Okay. Now, on some of the closer pictures, you don't really get a full sense of this dapple. But when you're on the, on the wider pictures, it's much more noticeable. It's just interesting to have shots that have that little bit of patination. And it just gives you, it breaks up the, the light. It keeps one light very, really, really simple, but really, really powerful. Got a spot check, very sharp, fantastic. So when I'm going in, I'm just looking at a little shot like that. Pull it into here, just check the detail, make sure it's sharp, like that, which is fantastic. And I can go back through and have a little look at the previous frames. Choose the ones that I really like. That one there is fantastic. I like that as well. It's just spot check that these are sharp where they need to be, which is there. That's a lovely picture as well. Very, very positive. Crystal clear eyes, fantastic. Excellent. And that's another great shot there. So um, I just have a little look, make sure I've got a nice sequence. I tend to shoot sequences a lot of the time. I quite like one eye in a shade, one eye out. I think it's got quite interesting sort of look. Beautiful. So thank you very much, Chloe. Thank you. Okay, little Fuji strikes again.